message I got my barbecue shoes on I'm going down to the house for sausage I got my barbecue shoes on Welcome to BarbecuePitBoys.com. Today we're doing some vodka lime chickens on the grill. And they're real easy to do. Here I've got two, about three and a half, four pound chickens. These uh, yard birds are nice and tender. They're all cleaned and ready to go. And uh, this recipe here is perfect for a hot summer's day. You got to definitely check this out. All right. Now, it's real simple to put together. All you're going to need is... Uh, three or four limes per yard bird here and uh, we're gonna get the juice out of these limes that's easy enough to do you just wanna cut them up and you're also gonna need some cilantro and uh, a good handful for each one of these birds right here now like I said uh, this recipe is real good for a hot summer's day. Uh, it's got plenty of that citric lime flavor. Whoo, man, you're gonna like this. Now, we're gonna be marinating these birds for about two or three hours, and that's the key. Uh, you want the marinade to work in here real good. So here I've got a good marinating bag. You want to keep the marinade in real close contact with this bird. You want to get all that flavor in the meat. All right. Now you want to take a handful of cilantro and stuff it in the cavity of the bird. And then, uh, like I said, two, three, maybe four limes, lime juice. And then you only need a couple more things. Here I've got some sesame oil. And if you've never used sesame oil before, you definitely got to check this out and keep some on your flavoring shelf. We're going to be putting about two teaspoonfuls, maybe even a tablespoon of sesame oil in there. Then a couple teaspoons of salt. And a couple teaspoons of fresh ground black peppercorn. Now here's the magic, you get some of your favorite vodka, and you're going to use about a cup for this four pound chicken. Of course, a little pit master privilege, a little nip. Now seal off the bag, and like I said, we're going to want to marinate this for at least two or three hours. Throw it in your cooler or your refrigerator. Now I got another one to do here. I'll show you how to do it anyway. Uh, for those of you who just uh, nodded off there in the last segment. Again, cilantro in the cavity. Two, three, maybe four limes, lime juice. Stuff them right in there. A little sesame oil, fresh ground pepper, some salt, and a little more of the magic. Since we're doing two birds, that's two nips. All right. Give it a good mix. Let it marinate a few more hours. All right, through the miracle of time, a few hours has gone by. We're gonna pull these birds out of the marinade. Oh yeah. And now we've got some uh, chef string here because we're gonna truss these up. You want to seal the lime and the cilantro in there and all the flavorings inside the chicken cavity. So we're going to be uh, putting these on the spit, but if you're using just uh, a regular grill, you can do this indirect on the uh, 
opposite uh, hot coals, maybe run it about 300, 350 degrees Fahrenheit. You're not going to have to truss it up like this, but like I said, we're going to be putting this on the spit. And if you cook you, uh, your meat on the spit before, you know, man. Extra juicy, lots of flavor, real tender. All right, I really don't need to be showing you how to do this. But what the heck. And also here, we're gonna truss up the wings. And this other yard bird, we're gonna do the same. All right, let's throw it on the spit. Oh yeah, nice and tight. Now we have a grill going here and we're gonna be cooking over medium heat, about 300 degrees Fahrenheit. And because we've got about eight pounds of bird here, this could take two or three hours of slow moving on the spit. For the first half hour, we're going to wrap some aluminum foil around these birds. All right. Simple enough. Okay, another half hour has gone by. These birds are starting to heat up good. We're going to pull the aluminum foil off for the remaining of this barbecue. Now every once in a while I'm going to baste these birds. Here I have uh, some soy sauce. Just give them a little basting every once in a while. Just gonna add another layer of flavor to these uh, vodka lime yard birds. Oh yeah, you smell that? It smells good. All right, a couple hours have gone by here and I'm just gonna do a check of the internal temperature of these birds and we wanna pull them off at about 180 degrees Fahrenheit. A little more time to go. Oh yeah. All right. These yard birds are done. We're gonna pull it off the grill. Hey. Take a look at that get hungry or what now you can see how juicy these chickens are oh baby I don't care gonna this grab me now let's cut one of these yard birds up now, of course, uh, we've been doing ours on a rotisserie there, so there's no need to wait for this chicken uh, to rest for a while. You can just cut it up right away because there's juices throughout this whole bird right here. 
Now, take your knife, split her right down the breastbone. Now, no barbecue is complete without some of your favorite sides. Everybody gets a half a burger. I got my barbecue shoes on. In fact, we do apologize. We're gonna eat some of this right in front. Take a look at that. There's a meal for a hot summer's day right there. Chicken, corn, coleslaw, and potato salad. Pitmasters have done their work. We're on. So the next time you're looking for a recipe for your barbecue, you check out the barbecuepitboys.com.